You know, War Thunder is a bit of an odd game, with a lot of grind to get from one rank to the next, and I thought, what if I could compress that all into one video? And I don't mean the grind. If anyone remembers the gun game modes from CSGO, I'm basically gonna be doing that. So the challenge here is, I have to start at the reserve BR, using a reserve tank, and if I get a kill, I have to go up one BR. So reserve will count as zero for this. The aim is to see how far I can get before the video ends. And of course, if I can get to the highest, which I don't even have unlocked yet, I think the highest I've got is probably going to be 10 point. Oh no, I've got an 11.3 right here. So if I can get all the way up to 11.0, I'm considering that a win. However, if my tank gets destroyed without getting a single kill, then I have to drop back down one. Think of it as getting knifed in CSGO, and that's the way that I'm going to be playing it. Let's get busy dying. So the first thing I've got to do is pick a reserve tank. And of course, I can jump between countries here, and I'm not entirely sure which one I want to start with. I'm gonna say right off the bat though, I think I'm gonna avoid anything from France because all of these 1.0s are incredibly painful to play. And also, their reserve is up here, even though the 1.0 is here. What? How does that work? War Thunder knows and I don't. And for obvious reasons, Israel is definitely not going to be on the starting lineup. I think for this one, I'm going to be picking the Soviets because the BC-5 is probably the fastest way to get killed or get a kill. And I think we want to get out of the reserve tier as quickly as possible. Also, it kind of tells you how long it's been when I don't even have everything unlocked on here. And away we go. Now, I could probably go and help cap the point, but... We're not out here for points. We're not out here to help our team. We're just looking for kills. All right, I think there might be somebody coming up here. Oh, hello. <laughs> Drove right past somebody. Hello? Oh, hello. Well, that, that didn't work. There we go. There's the one kill. All right, we're out of the reserve tier now. Let's see how many I can get, though. Ooh, let's go into this little archway. Anybody home? Boop. Well, there's my fun now. I got three. So we got three kills that round. So gun game rules with three kills. That means three BRs up. I think I might also change countries every time too. So we'll go from left to right. So that means it's British time. So if reserve tier counts as zero, that means I'm looking for a 3.0. And unfortunately, <laughs> that gives me the choice of the Valentine... Mark 9 or the Crusader. I feel like neither of these are particularly fantastic options. I mean, I could take the Crusader AA, but if I'm gonna do that, I might as well just take the Crusader tank itself. So I was gonna go across and use the Brits, but then I realized at 3.0, I have this, which I've never played. If I wanna make this a little more painful for myself, this is what we're gonna be doing. Now this default rack only has one APIT on it and it only has maximum 48 mils of pen. I don't know if that's gonna be particularly good. I mean, I could score the kill against aircraft, but I don't think anyone's gonna have a plane this early on. So this might be a little bit more painful than I was expecting. Also, I like how this guy's just vigilantly staring at the sky, even though the sight's right in front of him. Really likes his job, this guy. Also, I don't know if anybody's talking about it yet, but I really love that they added the crew voices. Because up until now, I think the only tank game that actually had proper crew voices, at least from what I've played recently, would be Gonna Hate PC. Also, it kind of sucks being the only one on this side. So we gotta be a little bit sneaky here, I think. You're gonna have to be very, very quiet. I can hear something. Oh, there's somebody on the C point. There you are. Do you see me though? That's the question. Did I just... Oh. <laughs> well, that was short-lived. It's okay, I have a backup. So if I manage to score a kill, we might negate having to go back 1BR. And there's a plane here. Can I hit him? I don't like how close those shots are landing. Somebody's definitely shooting at me. Yep. 
Well, rules are rules. I got killed twice, so that means I'm going back to 1.0. Which of course means I get to take this thingy out for the first time. Honestly, I don't really know what to think of this because I've never played it. So this is actually a chance for me to play a lot of tanks that I've never tried before. If you can call this a tank. Yeah, I mean, this isn't so much a tank as it is the world's most armored Volkswagen Beetle, but it does have a big gun on it, or big-ish for the time, and no turret. So we do have to point directly at the enemy every single time, but that's okay. Ooh, it's got rear wheel steel. Look at that. Whee! Oh, hang on. We're going straight. There we go. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just sit right here and wait for them to come to me. And hopefully that works. Of course, we are a little exposed on that side over there. Also because I've completely not noticed somebody's actually snuck past me. <laughs> Oops. That's a little awkward. Just a little bit. Oops. I've crashed. That's fine. Oh, there's a tank right there. In fact, there's two of them. They don't know I'm here, though. Maybe I can use this BT-7 as a distraction. Yes, good. Do it, and I'll get this guy over here. Hello. Let me, let me aim. Okay, there we go. I got his crew. Get him again. There we go. Okay, we are safe. We are safe from being demoted. God, could you imagine if that's how promotions actually worked? Like it was Battlefield or something? And everybody just got promoted by the number of kills they got? Oh wait, actually at one point that is how it worked. Hello. T26. There we go. Crew knocked out. And one more. Oh, it's one of those French iron nuggets. Can I actually kill him? <gasps> oh, I got him. Okay, I am lagging a little bit. That would explain the delay, but that's okay. We got three kills. I can hear something to my left. Oh, hello. Oh, that ricocheted. That's embarrassing. It's okay. You don't know I'm here. You don't know anything. Don't you? Hmm. So, you know what? Three kills. That means we're going up to 4.0. Now, we've already done the Soviet, so I guess it's time for Great Britain to make an appearance. And I think, well, the only thing at 4.0 is the Churchill Mark III. And if I sound unhappy about that, it's because I am. All right, well, there's no sense in avoiding it. Time to figure out how to play the Churchill properly. Like, I'm sure there is a proper way to actually play this tank, and I just don't know what that is. Still, I'm sure I'll have time to look it up in the time it's going to take me to get to the A point. Oh, there's somebody over there. I just saw the smoke. Okay, so does that mean it's a chance for me to get one? Maybe? Possibly? Oh, there's one right there. Hello. Okay, that was a crit. That wasn't a kill. Well, he knows where I am now. Okay, it's a kill assist. That doesn't count. There's a Sherman over there. Let me get him. Come on! Why must you be so slow, Churchill? Uh, look for this place before we cross the road. Okay, whatever I was chasing is probably dead. And that probably wasn't actually a Sherman. Now, of course, I could be useful and help cap the point, but no. That's not what we're here for. Uh, oh, hello. Well, let me hit you... there. Was that his gunner? No, it wasn't. That was my gunner. Get into cover, quick. Get into cover. Come on, gunner, get back up. Okay, I only have two crew left. This is a problem. Oh, hello. What are you? Well, you just shot at me, so I'm gonna shoot back. Can I finish him? Well, that's a no. I got two kill assists. I don't know if I should count that. I'm not gonna count that as one BR up, but I'm also not gonna count that as one down. So we're staying at 4.0 and I'm gonna have to switch. So. Next up, we've got Japan. I've just done Japan. And about the only thing they've got at 4.0 is another AA gun. It is an M19, but it is still an AA gun. So maybe China might have what we're looking for. And indeed they do. It's a T-34. Now, of course, this is the T-34 with the 76 millimeter gun, but it's still a Soviet T-34 at the end of the day. So, I mean, how bad could this be? Oh, hello. All right, so that's knocked us down one. And I guess it's time for Italy. So four minus one, that means we're back down to 3.0, which gives me this. And I know it's German, but it's under Italy. So I really don't know if this is gonna go all that well. And they tell you size doesn't matter and this is the gun you pull out. So we got heat rounds. That's gotta count for something, right? Ah, I've been shot in the butt. Look at that bullet hole. 
Why would you do that? Alright, I think we want to play it safe and go through town. Maybe. Oh, I think somebody's over here. But he might be just behind the... the hill? Or the ridge line, and I can't see him? Hang on. Hello? Okay, I hit him. It didn't do anything. Well, he's kind of having the same problem as me. He does have a longer barrel gun than I do, though. This is kind of part of the problem for me. Let me try to rotate around. Oh, somebody's in the bushes right here. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm just gonna check if that... Yep, that guy's still there. But I might be able to get somebody over here. No! Back up. Back up. I mean, at this rate, I'm probably never gonna get out of this. <laughs> so that brings us back to 2.0, and the country I've been avoiding this entire time is France. Probably because the choices are not that appetizing, if I'm honest, and exactly at 2.0 is another AA gun. All right, well, this already is not looking the most promising. Still, that gun is huge. It's a 40 millimeter Bofors gun. And yes, it's purely an anti-aircraft gun, but it does at least have the option of carrying AP rounds, but I don't know how often we're gonna get used to those. Also, we can't fire directly ahead, so we gotta play this like a battleship, and we gotta broadside it. Also, I love that there's just these two guys staring at the sky. Why are they there? I have no idea. There's something down there. Oh, I got him! Okay, well that was completely random. Couldn't even see him. He did injure like nearly all my crew though. Or at least half my crew. And my engine. What a dick! Alright, we gotta deal with the C point. We can pick up another kill down there. But at least we're safe from being demoted. But I want to get as many as possible. Otherwise this challenge is gonna take forever. Oh, hello. Something over here? Yep, something was over there. Come on, reverse. Reverse faster. Why is everything I use so slow? Or maybe somebody else got him. Nope, I think he's still alive. Or maybe not. Oh, stop by a tree. Uh oh. Oh, that's not good. Get him. Yeah, I got another one. We did lose somebody. We've lost two of our crew. There's something there. Just, just shoot. It's there somewhere. <laughs> All right, two kills, so that means we're back where we were before at 4.0. That means I get to try Sweden. Now, the first time, I'm actually kind of optimistic about this challenge because although this thing is not spaded, or even close to spaded, it's at least something pretty powerful, kinda. As far as I can tell, this is basically a Panzer 38T, but with that turret on it. And also a really big gun. Oh, hello, Dicker Max. So I think the plan for this one's got to be play it like an actual tank destroyer, even though we have a turret. Although it's a turret that I don't know if it turns all the way. I've never actually tested it. It's just a really slow moving turret. It does look like one of those things that would topple over if you fired it sideways, though. All right, somebody's on the A point. Go for a quick little peek. Where are you? I don't see them. Well, that's a problem. Oh, there's one right there. Okay, can I get the gun on you? Or does it not matter anymore? No, wait, never mind. He's still alive. Okay, let's thread the needle and there. There we go. You beautiful Swedish. Blockhead? I don't know. I was trying to think of something nice to say about it. <laughs> I do want to get more kills though. Not just because I want to get higher up in the BRs, but also because I kind of feel like I stole somebody's kill there. Ooh, the store just took a hit. Did you get him? What's that noise? Oh, it's a plane! Okay, we'll just sit here and pretend he he's not there. Maybe he won't see me. There's one! Hello! Ooh, okay, that wasn't quite the hit that I was looking for. He just hit me. Oh, and I was hoping the plane didn't see me. So after Sweden, we have the US, which puts me at 5.0 with this thing. I, I I don't even know what to say about this, other than it has two guns. At least it's a heavy tank, so maybe survivability, potentially. Also, if I remember right, that 37 millimeter gun that we've got is the same gun that's on the Stuart. <laughs> so, you know, it could definitely be worse. You know, I'm not gonna go over that way. I'm gonna go this way. I mean, this is a big boy. 
All right, we're gonna make use of this low speed stabilizer here. Something's definitely over here. Aha. Uh -huh. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, that was a KV-1 as well. Oh, what are you? Okay, that was a crit. That, was, that wasn't bad. Is that an SU-152? I think it is. Oh, we have decent reverse speed. Oh, let's go. I mean, we're not gonna reverse into battle, but still. Decent reverse speed is always good. There we go. It wasn't a... Oh, it was an ISU-152, but still. That could have been dangerous. Oh, artillery is coming. Time to get moving. What is going on over here? Excuse me. Okay, that was an assist. That wasn't a kill. But there is still one alive down there. Oh, there goes my turret. Uh-oh. Yep. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Get into cover. Oh no, my engine's hit too. Come on. Get that turret moving. Although I might be able to do it without the turret. Hang on. Okay, there's somebody over there. Oh, artillery's hitting me. Okay, well we have some semblance of turret control. That was a good hit. Follow it up. Nope. Okay, never mind. Oh, that's another assist. I'm just gonna rotate the whole tank. I've just realized I, c I can probably do that instead of just sitting here. Oh, the guy that was up there is still up there. Hang on, let's get the gun in place. Okay, he just shot at me again. And there. Gotcha. Like, am I happy about my turret being knocked out? No. But at least I can operate without it. Not without it completely, but it still works. Oh, I've been hit. Rotate, 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 rotate. Come on. Fire. Okay, we got one. Well, okay. Well, wiggling around wasn't going to help me that much. But hey, three kills. Yeah, well, three kills is starting to sound like it's the average at this point. Of course, three kills has moved us up from 5.0 all the way up to 8.0. And unfortunately, I don't actually have anything unlocked at 8.0 on the Germans. This is a slight problem. I don't think of it. I don't think I have any exactly at 8.0 right now. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. So that means I'm gonna take the hit back down to 7. Here at 7.3, I have the Leopard 1. All right, 7.3 with the Leopard. Now, I don't have a laser rangefinder or thermals, but maybe we'll be okay. I'd love to have gotten the Gepard, though. Or maybe that's one that I gotta try in future. Man, it's weird being at this BR and having a map with only one objective point on it. I think somebody's on the stairs over there. I don't have a clear shot on him though. Hello, Centurion. And there we go. All right, that's one. Okay, I think there's somebody over here. I need to reload though, so let's just duck into cover behind these buildings here. Oh, hang on. Did you see me? You did not see me. And that's A-OK, -okay. and I missed. Okay, hopefully he hasn't noticed that that I'm here. There's so much happening around me, I don't know what's going on. Alright, let's go for a little peek over this way, I think. Hello. There we go. <laughs> I was looking for him, I don't know where... I didn't know which way he went. Alright, let's get a little flank around this way. I think there's one more. There's one more around this way somewhere. There you are. Oh, somebody got him. All right, we're up to two kills. So that would put me at 9.0 after this. Let's well, see how far we can push this. Hello. What? Not damaged? What? What RNG bullshit is that? No. There we go. That's three. Uh-oh. I might be in trouble here. I think there might be somebody right over the hill from here. And they might know where I am. And all that's really bad. Okay, so turn, turn. And lower plate. Why did that not work? He had no idea I was here too. Come on. He has no idea where I am. Okay. Well, you're on fire now. <laughs> Let me finish him. There we go. Right, that puts me up to four. I got my engine back up, so I'm just gonna sneak back this way. I think that's, that's a good idea. Actually, you know what? I might be, might go behind this building right here. Go, 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 go. Somebody's right behind this. I don't know what my gun's doing, but if it would like to stop doing that, that would be great. Oh. Are you right here? Yes, you are. Oh, there goes my gun. <laughs> uh, oh, my gunner anyway. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, gunner's back up. 
So let's switch positions here. I think he might come around this way. If he wants to push, I don't know. He might not want to push. You know, I'm gonna switch my engine off. There's something moving around to my left. Yeah, somebody's like right here. Oh, helicopter. I don't think I've got the gun elevation for this. And machine gun! That's not gonna work. <laughs> Never mind. Oh! Hello. And finally, here we are in the 11.3. If you want to see me do more challenges like this, or if you have a challenge suggestion of your own, feel free to leave it down in the comments. If you want to see a full video on the Leopard 2 PL, let me know about that down in the comments. And of course, don't forget to leave a like, and of course, subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. My name is Panzer, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Man, we look like a real formation right now. Like, look at this. Leopard formation. It's great. Don't crash into me!